Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Today, we're taking a tech dive. Now, this is the third in our series of streaming devices for your television. We've covered the Roku, we've covered the Apple TV, and this time, we're going to be covering the Chromecast. Now, you look at the Chromecast, it's not what the Apple TV and the Roku are. It's not a set-top box. It's just a dongle to put into an HDMI slot. It has an HDMI connector, and on the back it has a power connector. This power connector plugs into a USB cable which comes with the Chromecast. Now, that USB cable can either plug into a USB port on your television and provide power, or you can plug it into a, a regular outlet and provide power. Now, the Chromecast is a little bit different than the Apple TV and the Roku. The Apple TV and Roku have their own interface meaning you can choose the channels, you can choose what you want to look at, you can, you know, it has everything and you use it by remote control. The Chromecast is different, you need another device. Pretty much any smartphone or any tablet. Now, I've used it with Apple and with Windows, I mean Apple and with Android, but I haven't used it with Windows, meaning a Windows tablet or a Windows phone, but I'm told it works fine. I have used it with a uh, Windows computer, it works fine with a Windows computer. And you can stream things to the TV in a different way. It's called casting. That's why it's called a Chromecast. Let's use an Apple iPad, for example. We take an iPad, we go to Netflix, we go to watch a movie, and we say, you know, I'd rather watch this on the television. There's a little icon you can press to automatically have it cast up to the TV. But the nice thing about it is then your iPad is no longer controlling the movie. You can use your iPad for anything else and it doesn't interrupt the movie. The movie plays anyway. You still use the iPad to control it. So if you wanted to pause the movie, you'd go back to the Netflix app on your iPad, hit pause, and it would pause the movie that's being Chromecasted to your TV. Now, some of the applications that are supported currently with Chromecast are obviously the Google Music and the Google Video from the Google Play Store, Netflix, Hulu Plus, HBO Go is also supported. Um, and you could also stream anything from, a, from the Chrome browser, any tab you have on the Chrome browser, you can stream to the Chromecast. Now, more and more applications are being um, cast enabled every day. Google just released the SDK for Chromecast so programmers can uh, put that into any of their applications so they can be cast to a television. There is a free app called AllCast, which allows you to cast just about everything from your device. It's an Android app currently, um, but you can cast anything pretty much to the Chromecast. So check out the Chromecast. It's a very expensive thing. It's only $35 and you can get it from the Google Play Store. You can also get it on Amazon. So our third in the series of streaming devices is the Google, is the Google Chromecast. Go ahead and check it out. This is David Hale for Tech Dive TV. Have a great day.